Hello? Hello? Who's this? It's Steve. Do you like potatoes, Steve? Uh, no. What's your, Steve, what's your last name? Dunlop. Dunlop, okay. Okay. Uh, of the tennis racket making empire? Uh, the rubber no. company? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, actually, he's my uncle. Is he really? Yeah. You get wow. all the free tires you want, eh? <laughs> yep. My uncle made a, had a factory, a marble factory. I got all the King Cobbs I wanted. Really? Yeah. Wow. All right, what do you want to call and uh, talk? What do you want to talk about, Steve Dunlop? Um, how about, like, potatoes and other foods? Why do you want to talk about them? Just because foods sometimes have funny sort of sounding like names? Potato. Sometimes. Yeah. I mean, it's crazy to talk about a potato. Yeah, potato. Potato. Do you like cheese? Do you like cheese? Broccoli. Cheese. Salami. Salami. Potato. 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 Guacamole. Say it. Guacamole. <laughs> guacamole, a good one. Guacamole, a good one, eh? <laughs> Beans. <laughs> bean, bean, beans. bean, bean, the musical fruit. The more you eat, the more you toot, 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 toot. Mm. Bean, 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 bean. Cheesy sauce, cheesy sauce, cheese and sauce, cheese, cheese and sauce, cheese and sauce, cheese and sauce. Cheese and sauce. Cheese and sauce. Hot, hot pepperoni, hot, hot pepperoni, cheese and sauce, cheese and sauce, cheese and sauce, cheese and sauce. Cheese and sauce. Pa, pa, Do you have anything else you potato, want to talk about? Potato, potato, potato. Uh. All right. Well, that's good then. Thanks, Steve Dunlop, calling to talk about foods. That uh, the that, word that fills our funny word requirement for the night too. Eh? One potato, two Eww. potato, three potato, four. One potato, two potato, three potato, four. Hello. Hi, ho. Hello. Ding, 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 ding. Woohoo! I got the bell. How you doing? Pretty good, thanks. How are you? Pretty good. Did cool. you like your bell? What? I, oh, I love my bell. Yeah. Save by yeah. the bell. I feel save, cool save, now because I got the bell. He's got a bell. Yeah. I got the bell. Wow, it is kind of... Uh, it it's seems little, that there's been a, drama a dramatic increase in uh, female gender well, since you, you we know, the started the bell. The incentive for that is the bell. It is the bell. Yeah. Okay, yeah. you know what? You know what's also cool? My name is Bella. Oh, wow. Bella. Yeah. yeah. Two wow. bells. Wow. Yeah. See? Okay, so I just called to say hi. And Belly. Yeah, buttons. I said that. Belly button. They call me that in grade four. Belly button. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Does um, your grandpa call you belly button still? I don't have any grandpas. Oh. Okay. But that's okay. Do you have a belly button? Yeah, I have a belly yeah. button. I got a good innie. Is it a deep one or a yeah, shallow it's, one? It's a deep innie. Really? Oh, wow. yeah. How deep does your finger go into your belly button? Okay, like you know that first... Up to her wrist. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. <laughs> no, you know that first crease on your finger? It goes up to there. Oh, the first bend? Yeah. No, that's an inch on my finger. Well, it's not an inch on mine. What is it? It's half an inch. Derek's got big fingers. I got little fingers. You know what I mean. Yeah, um. Little fingers, really little ones. <laughs> wow, an a half an inch. Yeah. It's, it's, it's good. How deep is your belly button, Tom? <laughs> it actually hangs out about four inches. <laughs> they just my belly dried button. up. Yeah. Dried up. Listen, listen, listen. Banana. Yeah. I was six. Basically, they cut off the umbilical cord... Uh, on me, like f a, foot and a, a foot and a half you know. between your mother yeah. and you. Yeah. yeah no, and and I was four when they did that. By the way. I discussed this in business class, and my business teacher was worried that he raised a bunch of uh, criminal right. vagrants. You know. Mm -hmm. But uh, you know, I've got two of them that we discussed very thoroughly that are pretty much foolproof. Okay. Okay. So you know, bank machines, right? Everybody uses them. Yeah. Um, if you get a large sum of money stolen from your bank account by somebody who stole your bank card, okay. then you can be reimbursed for up to $60,000. Right. So what you do is you get together with your friend, you know, you give him the bank card, you oh. know, he takes out all the money. And I see this one coming. Yeah, and, and you bury the card somewhere, I don't know, like grind it, eat it, get rid of it, you know, huh. and then the bank will reimburse you, and then you've got this wicked profit. Huh. See, and it's, it's totally... Why don't you get all your friends together, to like 20 friends together, pool all your money... <laughs> Everyone deposits it into your account. You get one of the, those people to steal your wallet, drain your account. Yeah. You get reimbursed the $20,000 or whatever you all deposited. Yeah, I'm sure we could raise that much. <laughs> there's, there's one problem with that, th that though. Excuse me. Um, you can't uh, withdraw more than $400 a day out of a bank machine. I don't know. Yeah, but like, let's say over a period of time, this keeps going and You going. don't report it. The bank will ask you, why didn't you report it Why didn't you report earlier? your bank card missing? Because you're out of the country. Uh, Ooh. Why didn't you bring a bank card? Because you have travelers.
that's your Dodge Viper that you buy when you get back. That's right. You got it. Uh huh. With your thousand dollars. Yeah, exactly. And it's, it's totally bullshit. Muscle. It's a muscle car. <laughs> Uh, almost hitting the the bank manager with a shiny new Dodge Viper. Another seat. Fun to drive. I want to drive it. <laughs> so, uh, Sounds like a perfect crime. It does sound good. Yeah, so you just go for it, man. Not bad. Well, thanks for the suggestion. Hey, no problem. Give that one a try. It, okay, good. Okay, and I guess the, the big problem is getting the $60,000 to get in your bank account. Um, Where the hell do you get that? With Grace, uh, go for a bank loan. You know, yeah, you'd probably have to get a job or something. <laughs> that would probably and then you realize, pretty good idea. Why, why even steal it? Yeah. Then you realize, you know, if you, if you have 60000 in the bank, what do you even need another 60000 yeah. for? Increase your wealth. I mean, what are you going to do with $60,000 anyway? Buy a house. That's true, yeah. yeah. Get an apartment, get a good yeah. car, yeah. I don't know. Who like, needs a house, though? You know? Set up an RSP. You know? As long as we all have happiness. Happiness is, yeah, happiness comes from wealth. Yeah. Well, I don't know about that. Unless you're, like, happy living on the street in a cardboard box and saying, yeah. man, life's great. Hmm. Never tried that. It just depends on your perspective. It is, yeah. yeah. Well, thanks for calling with your unique perspective well, on thank crime. thank you. And um, I want to thank you guys because you make my night bright because right now I'm, like, I'm oh. sick as a dog. And oh, really? Oh. Feeling better? We had a show last week on sickness. Mm-hmm. Really? Me, yeah. me and Glenn did a show on just on sickness. Right now? <sighs> Warm. Yeah. Well, there's 50, 50, 50 other people cringing with fear and hate listening to the radio going, oh. Meet you in the parking lot. Yeah, meet you. <laughs> meet you in the parking lot, funny boy. Oh, boy. Mailing us rats wrapped in flags. You got a rat as well? No. <laughs> Not yet. Hello. Hello. Goodbye. Um, that was a pretty quick one. Sure was. Hello. Hey, how's it going, Tom? So, what are you calling about? Oh, I'm just. Hey, okay, do you remember me? Yes, I do. Yeah, I'm How Charles. can I forget that voice? Yeah, I phoned in like on your last show. Right, right. We were talking about uh, horses. Of course, yeah. Of course, you don't have to explain. Yeah. Do you, you do remember, right? Of course. All right. A horse is a horse. Of course, of course. Of but course. no one can talk to a horse, of course, unless, of course. Yeah, right. Yeah, so uh, can, do you mind if I test your memory? See if you really do remember? Go ahead. Okay, what did of you Of course I remember. Breakfast? What are you talking about? I'm what are talking you talking about, about, man? I'm talking about you. I'm trying to get you uh, all... Uh, are you talking about... Oh, yeah? About you remember him? You remember him? Then let him do your little test. Sounds, okay. Sounds fine. like you're scared of a fine, test. Fine, do the test. No, I'm, not, I, I'm not scared of no test. Okay, Let here him do we his go. test uh, then. I'm not scared of a test. Stop dancing afraid, around. Then, uh, I'm not scared not of afraid. a test. If you're not afraid, you'll let him do the test right now. I'm not scared of a test. Yeah, come on. You what do you think, think I'm scared it? of a test? What do you think I'm scared of a test? What do you think I'm scared of a test? If you're not afraid of the test, then, then take the test. Why would I be afraid of the test? Oh, come on, Tom. What? You've been afraid of this test since... I'm not afraid of the test. I'm not afraid of the test. You've been afraid of this test for... Forever. I'm not afraid of the test. Why this would is the it, test. Why would I be afraid this of the, the test? test why would I be afraid of the test? I, I remember the guy. I do the show. You think? Okay. I, okay. Let's. let's I talk to the You want to do the test? You want to do the test? Do. Let's do the test. Yeah. All do, right. Do, ready. Do you you want to do the test? You see me saying I don't want to yeah, do. Go the test? ahead and do, do the test. You see me saying I don't want to do the test? Has anyone heard I me? See Has anyone heard me say I don't want to do the test? Okay. Here we go then. Okay, question number one. Why uh, would I want to do a friggin' oh, test? Oh, you don't want to do the test. What? You what? don't want to do the test. Okay, let's do the test now. Let's, let's go. Okay, uh, if your memory's so sharp, uh, what did you have for breakfast this morning? Oh, it's, it's just a memory test. Yeah, to oh, see if you have warm a good memory. Oh, okay. Yeah, I have, a, I, I have a great memory. And what did you have then? What if I didn't eat breakfast this morning? How oh, are you going to mark him? So how, are, how are you going to mark him? If he gets them right. How are you going to know if he's right or not? Were you oh, stalking him? Yeah, well, I did need breakfast a pair this morning. Of ha have a pair of Tascom Okay, here's binoculars. a question that only Tom Green would know. Uh, how many callers have you had since your very first show? I don't know how many callers I've had. So you're saying you don't remember? You no, I'm not saying that. Uh, I think you're busted, Tom. No, I'm not saying that. Okay, fine. When was the uh, I'm saying I don't know. Battle of Fort Louis fought? So you have all this trivia stored up in your brain? Yeah. You must be smart. How many callers, just out of curiosity? Yeah, since your very first show, like a 
ballpark figure? A thousand, uh, ten thousand? Well, I million? figure we got about fifty a show. You're the old man on the Pepsi commercial, huh? Yeah. I, I would call her. Uh, I figure we take about fifty a show. Fifty a show. That's pretty good. Times probably how many yeah. shows? Probably less. Well, no. Well, we roar through them. Maybe, well, maybe. let's roar. Let's get roaring then. All right. See ya. Oh. Uh, roaring along. Roar. Five six two five nine six seven. Probably about. Okay, let's say 30 a show. We could get more, but I just we don't go through them quick enough. And then uh, let's say I've done, uh, you know, we've done been doing this show all talk for maybe three years now. So, you know. 56 50 times 300 and... Say 150 seven times 30, you know. So then, you know, take a... 3,000. Hello. Hello. But when you consider that of those 3,000 callers, Hello. it's the same six people calling every week over Different and voices. over. I've taken six callers in the past three years. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hey, what's up? Not much. No? Well, I just wanted to know, what's the biggest fish you've ever caught, Tom? Biggest fish I've ever caught? Well, that's an interesting question. And what type of fish was it? Well, should you say, should I, uh, the biggest fish I've ever caught or the best fish I've ever caught? Well, uh, biggest first. Because the biggest bass I've ever caught isn't as big as the biggest pike I've ever caught. Yeah, but, you're probably right. But there. the biggest bass I've ever caught is the most impressive catch because it was m bigger for a bass than did, my pike. You know did what I mean? you eat it? Like a small pike is bigger than the bass that I, uh, is, is still bigger than the bass that I caught, which was, I think, maybe five pounds. Did you eat it? Shut up. Five pounds? Yeah. Something That's like that. That's pretty good. Five pound, uh, I went, small, I went fishing five pound smallmouth small bass. Huh? Hello? We're all, we're all messed here. Yeah, okay. Anyways, yeah. I went fishing last week. Same here, man. No, I'm not joking. Be quiet. Hold on. Okay. Anyways, I caught a... Tell weirdos in the background to be quiet, okay? Yeah, I told them. Okay. Okay, I caught a 19-pound trout. Wow. Pretty impressive, eh? It is good, yeah. Yeah. Where'd we, you catch that? Pardon me? Where did you catch that? Oh, uh, Lake Ontario. Huh. Huh. Yeah, and we ate it. Way to go. Fish is good. It's a lot of, uh... A lot of, uh... There's protein in fish. A lot of protein in fish. Protein, you eat Bones, too. Eat a lot of protein lungs. if you're a bodybuilder. Is there lungs in fish? Pardon me? Do fish have lungs? Fish... No, fish have gills. Thank you. I like fish. <laughs> Aren't the gills just like noses, though, for fish? They're... Yeah, kind of like noses, but... Thank you. They, they don't... <laughs> they don't take air in through their gills. Thank you. Thank you to the guy in the background who said, yeah, they do. Do you want to know how they do it? As you can see, Derek and I have had a little argument about gills this week. <laughs> <laughs> While <laughs> waiting for you to get your shots. allergy shot. I, got, mm. no, I, got, I don't have allergies anymore. Well, I have allergies, and my doctor's office has a fish tank. You make the connection of how this whole conversation got started. <laughs> how this fist fight started. Yeah. yeah. Fisticuffs. We put up our dukes. Gills, spoon, dukes. Yeah, gills. gills, spoon, dukes. dukes, dukes. Thanks for calling. Uh, I think like someone in the background yelled, "I'm a loser." Now, I'm wondering if he was referring to himself or to us, and I'm also wondering why he's the fourth person tonight who's yelled, "I'm a loser" on this show. And does it have anything to do with that Beck song? Hello. Hi. Hi. Ding 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 ding. Thirty-three minutes left in this nightmare. Thirty-three minutes left. Yeah. Uh, in this. Uh, who's this? It's Jen. Hi, Jen. Hi. Ling, okay, ling, you want to know what the perfect crime is? Oh wow. Okay. Um, did you like that topic? Oh yeah, it's the best. Have you been enjoying it all night? Oh yeah. Like, did you think it was a good topic? Yeah. I does. thought up that topic. It's pretty good. It's and pretty good. Uh, Tom has been trying to dump it for the last hour and a half, but uh, it seems to have caught. I shouldn't talk about it on the air because then I'll never is do it. Is this a crime? Well, this is the, the big National Art Gallery heist. Oh. 
You have to like live your Don't life. Don't talk about it on the air. Okay. But now that you've mentioned National Art Gallery <laughs> heist, yeah, that might. T- okay. Well, might we are going to do that someday. Yeah. yeah. All right. Hello. Hi. <laughs> All right, you, you I'm not going to... I'd just like to say, though, Jen, that I'm not going to be involved in any National Art Gallery heist. Okay. Now or in the future. Well, you know, we can Nor have I ever together. been in a National Art Gallery heist in the past. Yeah. Or any heist. <laughs> or any heist. Yeah. <laughs> My head again? <laughs> We've only got, what, 30 minutes now? Yeah, we might as well. 29 more minutes of moaning and then a minute of information about this perfect crime of Jen. All right, let's hear it, Jen. Okay, all right. The perfect crime is right. Spit it out. <laughs> you go and buy a gun, okay? You've already and got like, a gun. You know how there's like lots of crackheads. Gotta get a gun. There's like a whole bunch of crackheads in Ottawa. All right, a lot like, of crackheads in Ottawa. Like crack houses. Crack houses, is there? Yeah. Oh well, yeah. Like, there's tons. It, really? Yeah, Where's yeah, the crack house? The Where's the good a good crack, crack house, house <laughs> these days? Where do you, where can I find a good crack house, Jen? Let's go buy crack yeah. tomorrow. Let's go after the show. And and, and Derek, not are they only, open late? Derek, the crack houses? Derek, not only will we go buy crack tomorrow, we'll, we'll use it. We'll do crack. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> is it, how much is crack? Jen? Oh my God! How you much you is can get it for twenty bucks. I read an article in the sun. Twenty dollars in the sun. Okay, and, and where's the good crack house? Guy went and bought crack in the sun. Not only, but we should go buy crack and do the crack. And do the crack. Where? And we'll do it four times. Because apparently you do crack four times, you're, you're addicted. Hooked. Yeah. That's just like Coke. It's like a Oh, God. Let's get addicted. And ruin our lives. That is a major adventure, right? Eh? Yeah. Go get addicted to cocaine. <laughs> okay, let's not talk about this. Don't do drugs. Yeah, as if. Jen. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, my Lord, Jen. Well, obviously. Yeah. We oh, my Lord, Jen. You know, that's I'm something sorry, we've sorry. never really done, eh? Say your story. I'm sorry. That's something we've never really done. Drugs? Right Drugs. No, we've never done... It seems done ridiculously hey, stupid, doesn't it? Angel. It seems silly. It does in a way, but... But I mean, it, it's obviously crazy. But now I'm thinking of it as like a razz of doing it because it is so friggin' idiotic, like what, you know? crack? <laughs> it's like the most idiotic thing... To do. To do, therefore... And it's not that hard to do either. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> it's gonna roll it up in something or whatever. I don't know how you do it. Yeah, you put it into a fancy. I'm sure. Pipe. I'm sure they do. I wonder if they give you a little manual on how to smoke <laughs> the crack. You know. Well, if you're in a crack house, I mean, I'm sure there's a little. There's other people. There's other people that'll help there's, you. There's. It's kind of like going to Sassy yeah. Bead Company. You know, they have people yeah, that help, help you. They help you. Oh it probably smells yeah. the same as yeah. Sassy Bead. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> okay. So we're we're at our crack Perfect house with crime. our gun. Perfect crime. Okay. All right. You get this gun and you go to a crack house. Okay. And like you, you know, um. You go to the door, and, you know, somebody answers the door. Like, th- th- you do they have a doorbell? When, when they answer the door, do they have a little slot that they look through? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I've never been who is it? Who, who is it there? <laughs> Jack and Jill went up the hill. Okay. <laughs> but, okay, like, you know, you go to the door. <laughs> <but> like, <laughs> yeah. And, you know, you put No, the I think the password's actually... <laughs> crack! <laughs> What's the password again? Crack! And what'd you say? Crack! Okay. All right. So you go to the door with the gun. And you put it to their head. The guy who answered the door? Yeah, and you push them in the door, you know, and kind of make them fall back. This is the perfect crime. Perfect crime, yeah. I mean, this takes a genius... This is... This takes a genius to think up. Yeah, yeah. Dr. Moriarty from Sherlock Holmes. (laughs) (laughs) Jeez, eh? That's why I'm taking courses. <laughs> <laughs> so you can pull those things out of your friggin' mind, eh? <laughs> Me and Derek are going to be taking a couple of courses at Ottawa U next semester. Brain exercises? Yep. We don't want our brains going to mush? Don't want them shriveling up, so we're going to take a couple of history courses. <laughs> okay, so gun learn at a head, l- crackhead. Learn, learn a little bit about the history of the world, you know? Gun at crackhead's head. Okay, well, you're holding the gun to this guy's head after you pushed him in the door. What, what is wrong with youth of these and days? And you eh? crack his head open. No. He's a crackhead. <laughs> back, back in the 50s, if we'd been having the perfect crime <laughs> conversation, it would be, okay, you go in, you have sort of doctor's listening device, and you, you, Anytime you're, you're a safe cracker. You're, <laughs> you're a safe cracker. Yeah. You know, and you blow open the safe. That was yeah. that's what it would have been in the 50s. Now it's gun to head of crack house door. <laughs> that's a perfect door man. That's the idea of this. I mean, back then, because back then kids were reading the Hardy Boys. Yeah. It was safe cracking. You, you knew. It, it was desert treasure. <laughs> yeah. Treasure. The hidden hit, door. Hit, <laughs> there was secret trap doors. Mystery at devil's paw. <laughs>
The Hello. crisscross shadow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Are you done? Uh, no. <laughs> no, no we've we'll, got 20 more minutes. No, 20 more minutes of this crap. Uh, okay, so... So you put the gun to the crack dealer's head. Yeah, and... Okay, you're like... You're and you like, say, give me all the crack. No, you want all his money. <laughs> <laughs> give me all the money. No, 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 no And no, give listen, me all listen. the crack. <laughs> <laughs> and, it, oh. yeah. and then you load all the co- uh, cows on your farm up with crack and you just <laughs> ransack the town. <laughs> Take a McDonald's. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Let's, let's, uh, let's get off this crack topic. Well, what's the point anyway? What do you get out of this crime? All their money. You know? Crack does not do? exist in okay, Ottawa. Okay, if you just listen, Crack does not you. exist in Ottawa. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Even though they say it does, I cannot We're believe We're not in New that. York City yet. Well, I cannot believe that. The hell is crack? <laughs> the hell is crack. crack? It's some new drug. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. boy, Chris Rock from New Jack City. Yeah. <laughs> Juice. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks for calling. Okay. <laughs> it's too bad there's no crack in Ottawa. Yeah. Because it'd be neat if there was. Because we'd have. That uh, is the perfect crime, though, eh? We'd put, feel put like a big city if we had crack here. Oh, we would. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, now. We're, when you get crack, you're you're big like New York. Yeah, you're a better city. It's cooler. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hi. Ding 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 ding. Hello, Dave. Hey, Tom. Dave. Dave. Yes, sir. Dave. Yes. Can you hear me, Dave? Yep. Dave. Dave. Oh. I read your lips. Yeah. I read your lips, Dave. Two thousand and one. Okay. What were you gonna say? Uh, okay. No, I'm just wondering when the CBC uh, show starts on TV. Which one? Country Report. <laughs> With Wayne Rostad? No, the uh, the real Tom Reed show. <laughs> you know, that's basically the CBC show. I mean, <laughs> if there's any show on CBC, we can't we can't overlook on the road again. <clears throat> the uh, Tom Green show on CBC. I on the road again. It there's no there's no air date yet. Oh really? It's it's when we have to finish it first. Are you doing tapings in like a studio? There's going to be a taping in the studio. Yeah. When's that? Do you know for that yet at all? No, no. There's no no date set for it yet. As soon as we're we're finished uh, doing our pre-production but I, I can tell you one thing yes sir Dave yeah um, if studio audience is what you're uh, you're calling in uh, regards to yeah if that's your if that's taste. your cup of tea if that's your can of worms if that's this your piece of cake this Thursday there, there is th- this Thursday coming up is going to be our first live show on the Rogers season right on so I uh, should come down to that we need a studio audience for that it's actually uh, something that we may have overlooked we may not have a studio audience next Thursday because you haven't been really talking about the studio audiences lately because we don't you've just been ignoring the fact that there was a studio audience at Rogers and we've just been concentrating on the <laughs> CBC show so you haven't really thought much about the Rogers show so there's no one to come down to the Rogers show so there's not going to be anyone there well that's not true at all what you just said of course I'm concentrating about the Rogers show probably more so than the CBC show and that's so why there's no CBC show CBC yet the CBC show is not finished yet because you've been concentrating all this time on the Rogers show not even thinking that it's <laughs> a CBC show hey, I, I think you're probably leaning too far to either side but I think it's a bit of uh, one thing I can say for sure is we have a show on the air uh, over the past uh, summer and I would like to remind people that we will have a studio audience next Thursday night at 11 o'clock for free reservations to be here uh, listening to it on the radio you can't actually see that his eyes are really googly for some reason, <laughs> but when you're well, at the show... Well, because radio is uh, basically not a visual medium. Right, right, yeah. right, 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 right. Yeah. I guess that was for my benefit, the yes. Googles. Yeah. So, Derek, do you have a starring role on, uh, a role on the show this year? Um, well, uh, yeah. Derek will have a much more visible presence, seeing that he is living in the city of Ottawa. Yes. Yeah. No more letters, I guess, eh? No, no more, more letters. letters. It'll be letters from Vaughn? Letters from... Vaughn? Vaughn. Not a bad idea. Not no? A bad one. Oh, Not a bad there. idea, my friend. Uh, but uh, certainly won't be a letter from Derek. There will be. Uh, It'll be. Be a few, few changes. Uh, we'll, 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 you'll you'll see. Yeah, I can't wait. Yeah. Yeah, if if you put in the effort to tune it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah. For sure. So uh, thanks for calling, my man. Oh, one quick question. Okay. I'm wondering if there'll be an opportunity to buy. Uh, By the way, uh, do you like reggae music? Uh, myself. Yeah. Not really. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> will there be an opportunity to buy T-shirts uh, again sometime? Yeah, I think they, they there. I think there is some in existence. There'll be some sort of marketing. <laughs> Will it be at the show? <laughs> program right going on at the front door. So that that's usually as some soon as as soon as there's booth? T-shirts available, that usually so- signals the beginning of the end, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Sadly. Well, let's let's slog some of this crap. Before. 
Yeah, because I got one of your orange ones. I want a white oh, one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I think they'll be selling them at the show. I don't really. I'm not involved with that. Oh, really? No. All right. No. Thanks for calling. Yeah, have a good night. See ya. Van Halen Rock. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Lord. Lordy. The fact that he sat on the phone line silence, in silence <laughs> <laughs> after saying after. Van Halen rocks. Yeah. Hello? Oh, wait, this is a weird connection. You're not on the air yet. Now you're on the air. Hello? Hello right. there. Hello, oh. hello. Are you talking to me? Yeah, we're talking to you now. Okay. Can you hear us? Yeah. Are you talking to me? Yeah, I'm talking to you. Are you talking to me? <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you very much. De Niro. Well, can I tell you something? <laughs> yes. Okay. Well, I was cleaning my boyfriend's messy, messy, messy. You were cleaning your boyfriend. You, you were cleaning your, your boyfriend. boyfriend. Yeah. You were cleaning <laughs> your boyfriend. <laughs> what was he, rolling around in the mud? Dusty. Is he dusty no. boy? Oh, I know what this is. This a is dusty a dusty boy. This is if you show animals love, they will feel love. This isn't what, what this is? Dusty boy. Your boyfriend is a dirty sow. That's right. Dusty okay. boy. Okay. Okay. No, my boyfriend so not the dirty stuff. He's clean now. My boyfriend not the dirty stuff. He clean. I just cleaned him with sponge. My boyfriend is clean, not dirty. Hello. Hello. Hi. Okay. Hi. What well, can I tell you? It's your name, Susie. Are you making fun of me? Was the me? bucket of water <laughs> dirty? <laughs> mm. Now can I say something? Sure, you can. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. It's your name, Susie. No. Okay. Is your name Susie? <laughs> yeah. Okay, Susie. Anyway. Susie Q. Susie Q. Susie well, Q. Susie Q. Baby, Don't know I the words. You do the Susie. Okay, so you were cleaning your boyfriend's dirty back. No, bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bedroom. Okay. Dirty bedroom. Yeah. Okay. So, um. What kind of dirt was there in the bedroom? Was it all back like dirt? And things <laughs> was like it that? back dirt? Curly back black like hairs from <laughs> his <laughs> back? From his dirty. <laughs> was the mattress covered in. <laughs> okay, so you dirt? Were you were cleaning the room, yeah? Mm -hmm. Susie Q? And I was digging through all his belongings. Uh -huh. His British so porn. Like <laughs> British mature nymphos, it was called. Okay, anyways, yeah. <gasps> Hello. Hello. But yes. Hello. Yes, yes. So, anyway, yeah, we have I a story. We have a story about Boy, mature. do we have a story about British nymphos. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get to that later. Susie Q? Yes. What happened? You were cleaning up the dirty back dirt and hair off your. Uh, Boyfriend's Star no, Wars Star closet. Wars sheets. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Mark Hamill smiling at you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Mark but Dad, I was gonna go to town and get some power converters. <laughs> Are you guys okay? Oh, come on. Hello? Oh, I was gonna go to town and get some power converters. Power converters. Okay. Yeah. So, so Susie Q. Yeah, and and let's let Susie talk. Hello? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. The floor okay. is yours. Okay, so I was cleaning his closet. Objection. I'm sorry, I have an objection, Your Honor. Oh, my God, have mercy on me. Oh, yeah. That's not relevant. Oh, my God. Okay. Oh, All right, go. So, Susie, yeah. Yeah. You'll and get... <laughs> and I found... Hello? Yeah, you have to keep talking. Yeah. Well, you know what? I think your mother should take you to school, to manor school. This is a lady talking. You know what, Tom? I have an interesting story to tell Where you. Exactly well, do you well, Susie's, uh, <laughs> Where exactly do you... Susie's talking. Where exactly do you enroll for manor school these days? I'll be the first in line. <laughs> okay. <laughs> manor school. Yes. Where the hell is manor school? Is, do you get a little manor. badge to sew onto your scout's jacket when you graduate from manor school? <laughs> Look, Mom, I got a merit award. Well, I should be proud of you. Can you sew it? <laughs> also one for toy yeah, making. The wicked, the wicked kids had the sewing badges, too. Yeah, yeah. They, knew, they, knew yeah what they knew what they were doing. That's what? why they always had a lot more badges on their jackets. Yeah. Well, for, I think they got it for sewing yeah. all the original badges right. on, you know? Okay, Susie. They so. were the generals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> They always won the games of murder ball. Oh, <laughs> That's what cubs yeah. in the city turned yeah. into. Not learning how to carve sticks. Not identifying a beaver twig. It was playing murder ball in the yeah. gym at Henry Monroe Middle School. That's exactly. what cubs was. Yeah, no north Lord, side of the trunk moss. Lord Baden Powell would have turned in his grave. What the hell is murder ball? <laughs> the big <laughs> sheep. Well, where are those balls? You don't ever see those oh, balls those for sale rubber anymore. Balls. Right? Yeah, those rubber balls. Yeah. yeah. Left an imprint in your face. <laughs> but he can't Looked like that cheap wallpaper. Yeah. 
No, he can't. Susie, we, we are listening to you. We're no, waiting to find out what to all this dirt was in the closet. Okay, so anyway, I found all this garbage and everything, and I found a tape, right? Uh-huh. And I listened to the tape, and it said, Don't touch the hamsters! They'll, they'll, they'll hiss at you! They'll hiss at you! And I just thought it was the cutest little thing. Uh-huh. So I listened to it Hamster, over. Hamsters are cute, aren't they? Yeah, they are, but mine died. Aren't they the cutest little things? They're dead. Hamsters. Hamsters. Aren't even cute when they're dead. Aren't hamsters the cutest little things? No, they, they just died in my kitchen. Yeah, they're cute when they die. For some reason, I don't know why. They're Hello? so cute. They're just, they're the same as when they're alive. No, no, no. <laughs> they're just colder. Colder and smell. Yeah. They were so Well, they stiff, smell though. when they're alive, they too. Don't, they just don't smell you like wood. You can walk into any room and know if there's a hamster in there. <laughs> they, do, they don't smell like... Because of the wood chips. They don't smell like wood chips yeah. anymore. They smell like the shoreline of Lake Ontario. Right. Okay, so go on. Anyway, so I found this tape and I listened to it. And I thought it was pretty funny. Mm-hmm. And it said it was Tom Green. Mm-hmm. So you must be Tom Green, right? What? Sorry? You're Tom Green, right? Yeah, my name is Tom Green, yeah. Okay. Well, listen, you know what else the funny thing is? That wasn't the whole funny thing? No, I have wow. another funny thing. You're addicted to crack now that you listen to the tape? <laughs> I'm addicted. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Shut, Shut up. up, guys. That's not funny. I am too addicted don't, don't, to crack. Don't, 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 don't do that. Don't do that. Guys, you know I don't like joking about that. Don't worry about is it. that your sweaty boyfriend that needs to be cleaned in the background? Yes, it is. Okay. And his sweaty boyfriend. Oh. Or his friend, I oh, think. boy, I think no. I some three-way weirdness going on. <laughs> Sweaties. You don't know what's going on under those Star Wars <laughs> <Yeah>. sheets. <laughs> Mark Hamill <laughs> would be turning in his grave. <laughs> <laughs> he had a grave. Uh, if we knew how to play Murder Hello. Ball. Hello. Okay. okay. I want to tell you the other funny thing. Well, it's not really funny. Okay, but I then. saw you in Well, the if time. it's not funny... There's no, place for it anyway. it. There's no place for it on this show. Hello? Everything, every sound bite on this show must be a, a roaring, a roaring Tear delight. Tear rollicking. <laughs> I'm going to start to cry. I'm going to start to cry if you don't let me talk to you. Oh, you can hear me? Please, I'm going to start to cry if you don't let me talk mm-hmm. to you. <laughs> You're not crying now. You're happy. Oh, no, good. We made, I'm sad. We made Susie so happy. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, the puppy. Yay! Yeah, yeah. Hello? Hello? Yeah. My dirty boyfriend is clean! My dirty boyfriend is clean! What's the other thing that's not funny, Susie? What? What's the other thing that's not funny? Well, you were in the sun. Tom was in the sun. Yeah, Tom. Oh, that wasn't funny. Who are you anyway? (laughs) Who is the other guy? Derek. Oh, Derek. Hi. Well, I've never heard of Derek. You're Sean Cooley? How are you, Tom? Good. How are you doing? Not bad. Uh, I gotta. I hear you're at uh, Sir Will the uh, in the past couple weeks. Sir Will Fred so, Laurier. Yeah, Sir Wilfred Laurier, Fred Laurier High School in Orleans. I was. I am there. You were there, like in the past couple weeks. You're like visiting the school. Yeah, something. I'm. No, I'm just uh, getting my OAC English. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no. just get my OAC English. No, Tom. I, I want tying up a few loose ends. You know. Yeah. You gotta do what you gotta do. I uh, want to get a couple ideas for you because I'm like part of the radio station there. Oh, really? Yeah, and uh, we're gonna be starting like. I'm a pair of headphones. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're gonna be starting our uh, radio show. Soon. We're gonna be going onto the air soon. I want to get a couple of uh, ideas from you. That way, you can make my show just as zany as yours. Oh, okay. You could do this. Well, you're calling the right person. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> you can go like. <laughs> 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 Let's do that in the first five minutes of your new show. Or even better, do it for the whole show! That'll freak him out, man! But if you do that for the whole show, then you lose, uh... That's the thing! You lose! That's the thing! Holy cow, you're doing well tonight, eh? Sounds oh, like you got a bunch of giggling girls. girls. Giggling girls over at your actually, place. Actually, you're catching, actually... What did you do Friday night, man? Uh, just hang out at the house, a bunch of giggling girls. You don't need no radio show. Cleaned up my brother's dirty back. <laughs> lay around on the Star Wars sheets and chanted Lord Baden Powell hymns. That's the worst string of callbacks, I think, ever in the history of radio. Oh, shut up! Oh. I'm talking to myself here. Sorry. I'm telling myself to shut up, okay? What's your name? Steve. Steve. 
Oh, what a radio name. So you're going to have a show, Steve? Uh, hopefully. Mm. What's it hinge on? What's it hinge on? Your ability to communicate? No, it hinges on uh, your, uh, my ability your to... Your brilliance in music selection? Mm, music selection is... Be... Are you alternative enough for this place, Matt, uh, Steve? Uh, I almost I'm called you Matthew. alternative enough for any place. <laughs> All right. All right, we got an alternative here. Wasn't really, I wasn't paying attention, actually. <laughs> yeah, I looked over at you, and you were, like, drawing th- three of the cast members of Goonies on your arm. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention at all. I was just <laughs> scraping stuff into the desk. Yeah. Eat it, Joe's. Yeah. Carving Derek plus... Derek Harvey plus Brenda Buderick into the counter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hello. Hello. What Sorry. is that? <laughs> I don't know what that means. <sighs> Brenda Buderick was one of my next-door neighbors, and, and still is, actually. Thought I threw an irrelevant uh, reference into the conversation just because I thought it would be kind of fun. Okay, then. So, uh, That's Derek, something. Hey, Stephen. Uh, you, sh- you should remember me. I called in like a couple of weeks ago on that guy from Saskatchewan. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You're the guy from Saskatchewan? Saskatchewan yeah. rules! <laughs> you settled down Mom, now. you're the first person to say that in two and a half years living here. Yeah, That's well, cool. you know. I'm from Regina. Yeah, right. So is Stephen. I'm from Regina. Stevens oh, yeah. from Regina. That's right. Or the best place to go in the entire town. So I know this. Count. I know the answer to this one. <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> Tell him, Stephen. Hanging out at the Five and Dime? No. The best place to go in all of Regina Steel, is the Hockey Arena. Stick string. And it's not one of the Five and Dime. Played it is a finger's blade. Was the samba of Regina. <laughs> you know that song uh, was uh, Ottawa, Ottawa? Ottawa Days? Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. Huh. About his Ottawa days. Summer of 69 is about his Ottawa days. Mm-hmm. I don't think 69, though, is referring to the year. Tom, you can't sing. Tom, Thanks. You have somebody who thinks you can't sing here. Thanks. Who's that, Sarah McLaughlin? <laughs> <laughs> wow. I don't know. You've really settled into Ottawa. Yeah. Girls in Ottawa must love Saskatchewan, yeah. guys. Yeah. Actually, oh, they man, don't. Tell me again about how flat it is. Listen to this, Heather. Are you serious? You had your own silo? <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, uh, Tom, you got people who aren't exactly fans of yours here. All right. Well, no, tell no. Sarah she can walk the plank. <laughs> Give them a spank. Bye. Nothing like a good pirate joke. Oh, God. Well, okay. Steve, I don't, well, know, I don't know what to suggest. You have no suggestions. Well, I I, I just say, uh, you yeah, know, make sure wh- you have. What kind of show are you planning on doing? Well, kind of like a morning show. It's going to be totally insane. You should oh. do it in the morning then. Oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> oh, yeah, that would help. Doing a morning show at midnight won't really work. Mm-hmm. But well, you know, that's the first. That's the wee hours. It'd be of the, the morning. first. Uh, the first morning show. Damn right, it'd be the first morning show. Tom. Yes. Are you aware of the gr- the Sir Wilfred Laurier grind? It's is, like a thing. Is that, that a dance? Talk- kind of like the twist. It's catching no, up. No, no, it's, Come it's on, a baby. contest we have it's with grind. Gloss. Do the Sir Wilfred Laurier. <laughs> grind. No, it's a uh, contest that we have with uh, uh, You're right, Gloss I can't. High School. You're right, Sarah, I can't sing. Come on, baby. <laughs> Let's do <laughs> the grind. My name's Sheila. Oh, oh, sorry. Sheila Easton. Let me make a correction here. Her name's not Sarah. It's Sheila. Three letters <laughs> different. Which is, is she's even worse. Yeah. 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 Sheila. Sheila McLaughlin. Yeah. Sheba. Sheba. Sheba McLaughlin. Sorry, it's Sheba, goddess of the jungle. Sheba. <laughs> All right, Steve. So, uh, yeah, it's a morning show. Yeah, I'm gonna do a morning show, and like the music selection is gonna be whatever I feel like playing. Ah, oh, cool. Wow. Kind of like uh, music you play, whatever you feel like playing. Oh yeah, like kind of like this kind of stuff. Kind of like that? Yeah. Cool, cool. Tom, is there something wrong with the phones? I can't hear you through my phone. Oh, yeah. I guess there is then. Because generally, phones are two-way communication devices. Yeah. This. Yeah, no, there's something wrong with the phone tonight. You're hearing us on the radio, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank God that there's no seven-second delay or it would be like we were having an overseas telephone call. <laughs> that w- that would the make 1950s. a uh, phone yeah. show very interesting. Yes, it would. Well, thanks for calling. Yeah. My main man. Okay. Uh, 
Bye. Bye. Everyone's got to leave with a little saved up joke. Yeah, yeah. Five six two five nine six five. It's almost like everyone who calls. Five six two five nine six five. Five six two five eight zero zero. Also, it's almost like everyone who calls already knows what their last line is going to be before they even say hello. It's interesting, you know, if, so, if you call right now at 562-5965, you will get through because there is a line open. Um, hello? Hel- hello? Us. Hello? Hi. How are you doing, Tom? Good, good. How are you doing? Uh, pretty good. Uh, before I get to my uh, very important question for this evening, I, I just wanted to ask you, whatever happened to those organized rhyme days? Um, those days are over, kid. We're not going to recant those at all? Like, I was hoping you could maybe give me a bit of the check the O, are you like it so far thing. Maybe you and your friend could... No, nah, kid. I'm sure. Nah, kid. I don't play like that you no can. more. Come on. See, you got to get going check with that. the O-R. I right, check it. Do it. Go. He likes it so far. Come again, on. Again, again. I can check the O-R. Because you like it so far. That's right. No, we don't do that anymore. No? No. Those days are all done? Yeah, them days is over. Why? Why? Why are those days over? Who's this? Hello? Hello? Who is this? This is Joe. Joe? Yeah. Why are those days over now, do you think? I don't know. The thing is, hip-hop is, is rock, and it's going strong, and you guys have some good shit, go- oh, good stuff going. You, you I didn't, I didn't have any, any of that hip-hop stuff going. No? No, 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 no. I was involved in that. You were involved? No, in I wasn't. You weren't? No. But Tom was. Uh, I think so. You think I think he so, mentioned right? it. He gave me a he gave me a compact disc a couple of years ago with his face on it. Did he? But Did I Tom n- just leave the room and, and leave me to you? Or but I never know. He's here. Oh, he's here. He's holding he's holding the disc now. Oh, he's gonna put it on. I think you're all in for a treat. But, but I still have a, I still have the main question of the night for Tom though. Okay. It's my dilemma question. Shoot. Shoot it. Shoot it. Yeah. This is my question. I just came back. I'm, I'm here at a buddy's house, and I came back from one of those your own beer things. Uh-huh. And, You're guzzling um, beers? Pardon me? You're drinking beers? Well, no. I'm, well, no, but the thing is, I have, like, 48 in my car, but... 48 beers in well, your car? Well, yes. I mean, you, you pay this ridiculously small amount of money, and you get this trunk full of beer. Why? Because that's, you have to do it yourself. You what are you going to drink, all those beers? Well, that's the, here I come to the dilemma. Here's the hard part there, Can you bring them down to the radio station and we'll all drink them? Uh, I don't know if you'd like them. It's an, it's an Irish blend. It's, it's, it's oh, 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 Irish! Irish sucks! Irish, Irish sucks! What, what, you guys tell me got Irish blood or what? Uh, Scottish! Uh, we're Scottish! Crap. Anywho, I'll get back to the point here. Uh, there's a trunk full there, but... I don't don't know you me. anywho me, laddie! I'll anywho you anytime I want! So there's, you're bringing them down... And leaving them on the doorstep. That's a solution to your problem? Is it a solution? Well, that, see, you haven't let me finish, though. Okay. My question... Oh, there we go. I heard something. My question was, though, if there's a trunk full there, so we could stay here with the people that are here, you know, drink till the wee hours of the morning, or we could go across the bridge and, and check out some <laughs> funk-ass bar and hall. I'd, uh... What do you guys I think? guess I'd, I'd go bring the beers to the funk-ass place and hall. <laughs> You're playing my song. <laughs> yeah! Bring the beers where? The funk-ass place in hell? Yeah, and just, uh... <laughs> and just listen to this song. All Thanks right. for calling, my friend. And request this are song. You, are you kicking me off the air now? Yeah. Thank you very much for calling, though. Um, not a lot of phone calls tonight, eh? I mean, we're getting enough to keep us going, but certainly we haven't had mm, a full... We're not gluttons. Not, not gluttons. Like pigs. Maybe uh, Josh Byers is being very selective uh, as far as uh, who gets on, and, uh, and if he is, I commend him and thank him for that. Call with call with something to talk about. Five six two five nine six seven. Five six two five nine six five. Maybe it's easier if we handed a topic over. Hello. 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 You're on the air. Hello. Corky, you're on the air. Yes, Hello? You're, you're on. You're on. You're on. You're on. Turn your radio up. We're having phone problems. Oh, God. You blew it. You're yeah. going to blow it. You you're got gonna it. Bl- you're on the air, my friend. Uh, yes, you are. If you just said hello and then you said I'm not on, then you're on. What's up? What's up, hops? <laughs> you dropping... Hey. Is that Derek there? You dropping <laughs> badass styles? <laughs> you flow? 
You flow? Flowing. You flowing? What's Gary. up, kid? What's up, kid? Who's this? Kitty. <laughs> Chris? Tuffer? You're, you're on the air. Yeah, yeah. Hello? God, that's frustrating. We're having a phone problem. But still, I mean, I think we communicated fairly well that he was on the air. I think, I think he understood he was on the air. To be honest, I think he thought he was on, he knew he was on the air. He should have Yeah, he knew. Jesus. Damn. Oh, well. Yeah. Can't teach an old dog new tricks. I'm having major phone problems here. Oh, I know what it is. Sorry. Oh, the phone's... Oh, oh my lord. my lord. Oh, my lord. There we go. There we go. Punching buttons. <laughs> Hello. 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 Hello, you're on the air. No, you're not. Well, yeah. this is uh, frustrating. We'll be back in a minute. So tonight's topic will be salad. <laughs> Check the OR. You like it so far. Check the OR. You like it so far. Check the OR. You like it so 